Greetings everyone. Today we're going to have a little update to my last tutorial, which was about how to automate Serato MIDI events from an external MIDI sequencer, such as an MPC-1000. Today we're going to talk about how to do that with Ableton Live, which I think probably more people are using um, than are using um, like an MPC-1000 in a digital DJ context. So make sure that your bridge with Ableton and Serato Scratch Live is up and running. I'm not going to talk about how to get that going because there's plenty of other videos that are going to be able to explain it better than I can. But let's start by going over to Ableton Live. Let's go ahead and create a MIDI track and then go into our preferences to make sure everything is on point. Uh, tonight I'll be using the Akai MPD-24 MIDI controller. So make sure that your MIDI controller is enabled from within the MIDI sync um, pane of your preferences within Ableton. And then at the bottom of my um, screen there, the most important thing is going to be that uh, Scratch Live MIDI in is enabled. And that's going to allow um, Ableton and Serato to communicate via MIDI. So go ahead and specify your MIDI controller with the MIDI from portion. So this is in your ins and outs there. Hmm. There we go. I was about to have a Ned Rush moment there. Why isn't it working? But <laughs> anyway, I love Ned Rush. And so from your MIDI 2, go ahead and... Put that to Scratch Live. Channel 1, which is the channel that I'm using, is fine. Let's go ahead and make a MIDI clip. I'm going to make it two bars long. Now, naturally, we don't need to put on any um, effects unless um, you would like to, but we'll talk about that maybe a little later. Over in Serato, I've just got a little beat worked up. It's 95 BPM. And make sure that this is in internal. And so my live set is also at 95 BPM. So I'll just give you a little preview of what this uh, beat sounds like. So here's Q.1, Q.2, Q.3. So one, two, three. Number four and number five. I'm not gonna try to get too pretty with these uh, MIDI events just to show you um, that this is possible, really. So, let's get our beat going within Serato. Make sure your overdub is enabled within Ableton. And make sure your arm session recording button is on. I always forget about that one. So let's just start recording some events. Quantize those. Again, nothing too pretty. This is just to demonstrate what is going on here. So, we've got our MIDI clip playing, and Serato is acting all on its own. I'm not touching any buttons whatsoever. So, if you stop the MIDI clip, goes back to playing normally okay now if you play this and you have the MIDI clip synced it's never going to get anywhere because the cue points are always going to jump the MIDI clip back to the beginning and so that's why we don't want to sync that up so just leave that in internal and hopefully your own personal quantization is such that it makes sense when you launch the automation clip from within Serato. Or from within Ableton, sorry. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and stop that. And again, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, this is a new technique to me too, so I'm still learning. And I would appreciate if you just comment back and let me know what you're coming up with and uh, keep the conversation going.